Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you two different ways to add lockpicking into your game, and this works with every version of RPG Maker. So first, let's see how everything works, and I'll show you how to make them after. This first one is RNG based, uh, and you can set the percent chance to succeed for each chest. The way it works is first you'll need a lockpick, and then when you head over to a chest that's locked, it will let you know and ask if you want to use a lockpick. If you hit yes, you'll go through a two second pause where you pick the lock. And then if you succeed, it'll open. And if you fail, the lockpick will break. And it'll give you a prompt to try again. And I'm getting unlucky. Let's hope I pick it this time. And it's that easy. The second version is based off of a skill system. So in your game, you could have a NPC teach you how to lockpick, or you could implement this into a skill tree if your game uses skill points. The way that this one works is whatever lockpicking level you're at, you'll automatically succeed at picking locks that are your level or below. But if the lock is too difficult to pick, you can't unlock it at all. So if I go over here and change my lock picking level to level 1, then I'll be able to unlock level 1 chests. But it won't let me unlock chests that are above my level. Now let's say I change it to level 3, then I would be able to unlock the level 3 and the level 2. And that's how this version of lockpicking will work. We'll start off with the RNG based one. First, we'll head to the database, go to your items tab, we'll add one to the maximum, and name it lockpick. You can have the settings be whatever you'd like. After that, let's go to the common events. We'll add one that's called set random 1 to 100, and the second one will be easy lock. We'll go back up to the set random one, add a control variables, click on one you haven't used yet, name it random 1 to 100, and we'll have it set random 1 to 100. Going back over to the easy lock, we'll add a conditional branch. Click on item, lock pick in inventory, and make sure it's clicked down here for when conditions do not apply. Under the else, we'll add a text that says you do not have any lock picks. Up here, we'll add a text that says picking lock, period. Then we're going to add a backslash, shift backslash, period, backslash, shift backslash, period, and then backslash, shift six. This will add that two second little loading screen while our character picks the lock. After the text, we're going to add a call common event and then click on the set random common event. Under that, we're going to add a conditional branch variable, the random variable, less than or equal to 75. This means we'll have a 75% chance of succeeding at picking the lock. Make sure it's checked down here. If it succeeds, down here, we're going to add a control switches. Click on a switch you haven't used yet and name it lockpick success. And have it set to on. Under else, we'll add a change items, lockpick, decrease, 
one. Then, if you'd like, you can add a sound effect, letting you know that the lockpick broke. And underneath that, we'll add a text that says, lockpick broke. Add another text that says, try again. Below that, we'll put a show choices, yes, no, with cancel being choice two. Under yes, we'll add a call common event, and then pick this common event. So if we click yes, it'll just loop all the way back up to the top. We don't need to put anything under no. Then we're going to head over here and copy this easy lock and paste it twice, so we have three of them. We're going to change the second one to medium lock, and the third one to hard lock. Let's head over to the medium one, and we're going to edit this conditional branch, and change this number to 50, so we have a 50% chance to succeed. Then head down here to this common event, edit it, and change it to the medium lock. Let's do the same thing for the hard. Edit this conditional branch. And down here, change the common event to hard. Now we're all done with the common events, but we'll have to add some things onto the chests. Make sure you click OK to save. I'll add three default chests for the three difficulties that we made. We'll go in and edit one of them. Right click at the top and add a text. Have it say locked. Use lockpick. Below that, we can insert show choices, have it be yes and no, with choice two being on cancel. For yes, we're going to add a call common event, and then choose the difficulty of lock that you'd like. Under that, we'll add a conditional branch, switch, lock pick success is on, and then make sure this is checked for when they do not apply. Right underneath the lockpick success, we are going to add a control switch and turn the lockpick success off. So that way, the next time we pick a lock, it won't automatically succeed because it'll be stuck on. Under else, we're going to put exit event processing. And under No, we are also going to put Exit Event Processing. And that's everything you need to know. Uh, real quick, I'll show you how to copy it onto other ones. You'll want to click up here, and then Shift-click on Show Choices. We'll hit Copy. Make sure you hit OK to save this. And on a different chest, you could just right-click at the top and hit Paste. And then right here at the Common Event, Edit and change it to whatever difficulty you want the lock to be. Now, if you want to test this out, you could just add a new event, uh, any NPC, and have them change items, increase lockpick by 10. So you'll get 10 lockpicks and you could try it out yourself. Now on to the skill level based one. To start off, we will make a quick skill system. Uh, make a new event. Choose any graphic that you'd like. Then add a control variables. Pick one that you haven't used yet and name it lock picking level.
have it set to 1. Hit OK. We'll click OK down here, and then copy and paste this till we have 3. We'll edit the second one to say 2. And we'll edit the third one to say 3. Next, add a sample chest, and we'll copy it later for the other two. Click Edit on the chest. Make sure you're on the first page up here. Then hit Copy Event Page and Paste. Go back to the first page and delete everything on the side here. Then we'll add a text that says locked. The lock is too advanced to lockpick. Then we'll head over to page 2 up here. Click on variable and have it set to lock picking level and have it be 1 or above. This also makes it so if your skill level is above 1, you'll be able to pick every lock that's below your current level. Next, we'll add a text at the top that says locked. Pick the lock. Under that, we'll hit show choices. Yes or no, with cancel being choice two. For yes, we will leave it blank. And under no, we'll add exit event processing. Make sure you click OK. Now we'll copy and paste the chest until there are three. On the second chest, you We'll have to change the lock picking level to 2. And on the third one on page 2, change the lock picking level to 3. And that's it. That one's pretty simple. Uh, just whenever you have an NPC or a skill point, uh, just add this in to wherever you need it in your game, to whatever level you're currently at. And that's all you'll need. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like my content, and I will see you in the next one.